Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level 2 Megabase. When the last episode just got our unloading stations up and running and uh, we pretty much finished the design for our, uh, our train grid network. At least we should have all the building box blocks ready to make a very very cool setup. So uh, in today's episode We'll try to make our first kind of more complicated product in our um, main bus, main bus in our train grid, just to see uh, if you can get it to work. So I think that's a good idea. Do remember to like the video, and if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. So um, what I first planned us on us doing was uh, doing a build with beacons and, and productivity modules and speed modules. But after thinking about it, I don't think we're quite at the stage where we have the throughput needed to um, to build productivity modules free and uh, speed modules free in our train grid. So uh, what we want to do today is start to build the building blocks for uh, productivity modules and speed modules as those are the two most important things. And since we require advanced circuits and process units, that also means we'll require a ton of green circuits as they are used in both of these. So the plan for today, setting up green circuits, an early game or mid game uh, green circuits, where we will uh, kind of reuse the design we had over here. Just scaled up a bit bigger and uh, having this go into train stations. So um, let's just steal this design for now as uh, what we want to use going forward. So if we take something like this and go over here. So uh, what I want to do is see how many of these can fit in next to each other and then let them go down to uh, to our output stations down south. We will upgrade all of this to blue belts as needed but for now I think we just want to uh, to get a few hooked up because as you can see we have double input of copper we have double input of iron so uh, we might as well just um, use that as a as a building block for now so if we just place one down right here you can wait a second with building it might have a bit in storage and then take the same one over here. Just setting up quite a few one, quite a few. Maybe just doing two lines to have four lines going out, just to make it quite simple here in the beginning. I think that would be a good start to do, just to get some uh, throughput going and uh, building up the base. So let's flip the things we have to flip first. We want copper to go in this way. And we want the output to go out the same way. So that's fine right here. We also want the iron input to go um, the opposite way as well. So we have to flip all of these. Oh, can, can you get that out? I can. Look at that. Something felt very wrong when I did that. Let's just dismantle all of that up to the start because that was completely wrong. And let's just get it in correctly as it's supposed to be. There we are. Jump, jump. Here goes the robot. Let's just get it all hooked in first and see whatever we are missing. Are we going to miss some inserters? Yeah. But that's not the worst. Quickly, let's give it some power so it's not blinking uncontrollably all over the place. And let's see how we can get this in. So we need two iron lines and we need two copper lines going to each side. And then things will just start to flow quite easily. And that's the power of making it modular. We can just expand it downwards one more. And we have to flip all of these belts here in the middle. That is kind of what we need to do. There, oh, it was pretty much in the correct space. 
that is fine going down. We need this one to grab from here. Let's get all of you redesigned as needed. There, there, here, and that is fine. That is fine. That should be copper coming in. That should be iron going in. That should be the output into this line. Uh, going in this way. We'll just flip the things over here as well. Making everything go down that way. And enabling us to, uh, to expand this out quite easily. And there. So that should be all we need to get this to work. Now we need to hook up all the things. And uh, we could just take the blue belts. They are a bit expensive, but uh, we need them for it later. Or we can just take red belts and get that to go. So for now, let's uh, let's go and pick up a few belts. Because um, that is what we need. So I'll be back in just a second. So uh, I just went and got a few of the things we needed to finish this. And that means we can, can start to hook it up. I've got some red, some yellow belts, and they put down a little chest up here with some supplies that we can use as well. So uh, why don't we try and hook this one up as it is right now? Um, we can also, of, well, of course, expand it out further down this way, if we so desire. As you can see right here, we can add in more. And um, let's just do that and see how much this actually can support as it stands right now. You need one right there, it seems. Make it look correct. There we are. Thank you. Missing one. Can't be missing one. But there we are. That is completely hooked up now. Should uh, give us a nice output here. Of course, the input side might be a bit wonky. But uh, then we can take from here, go into a train loading station where we will load it with green circuits. So let's just take this part. Take it down here. Of course, I will add this to the blueprint book. Adding it like so, maybe turning things a small amount to another side. to make more room inside that is. So for example, if you take this part and just turn it a small amount. Let's see where can we get it to fit. Maybe something like right here. Again, to make sure we don't take out from, uh, from the space. Yeah, and the last one over here. And of course, look a bit better if we do it like that. And like that. Because that will give us a full uh, input over here with green circuits. We want this to be active if, not iron, but green circuits is above a certain amount. And see it outputs uh, nothing. We want to call you not iron pickup. You'll be green circuit. Let's call it loading instead. Loading and unloading. I think that's uh, the name I'll use. I'll just change that in the other stations in a minute. And do green circuit loading. So that means now we have a place for our trains to pick up green circuits as they get produced. We then want... We can move it down a small amount. We probably could. What if we take you and move you to... here instead? I actually think that looks a bit better. There, 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 and there. So this will be our loading station, of course making up 
one that's comparable to it over here, making loading easy of the items. So now, I don't know if we should make this uh, longer, but let's just take it like this for now. You'll go down. You'll go over this way. Let's make room for what we need. One, two. You go on the two top ones. Go there and there. Going like that, and you'll go right here. Up to that one. That'll completely balance out what we need. These will pick them up and put them in the chest, and it will be very, very good. Of course, we've set it to 32k still as, uh, as a limit, because I want to. And uh, let's get this hooked up, and let's get our first green circuits flowing. And then hook up a second one over here. Could go to the same one over here. We might take it to um, one over here. Depending on uh, how many this can support. As it stands right now, we have 14. And with beacons and such in the, f in the future, we only need about 10 to fill uh, two belts. Or fill a belt. So, uh, so let's go with this for now. I think that'll be just fine. So how should we hook it up? Two lines going in. We can have the iron going over here. Let's get that on. Couldn't fear just do it on what's it called? A yellow belt. What if we take you to like... This look good? And we go somewhere in the middle here. That's a waste of belts. What if we do this instead? Then we'll have two lines going over and in. In theory, go here to there to here. Let's disconnect these two to not let it run yet. Saying so you'll go in that way. You'll go in here. Then we'll have two copper lines going as well. You can for now just jump across this one. So you can go that way. Copper line in. Have the second one running right here. Over to the copper side. Taking that one. Let's just disconnect these two for now, as I wanted to flow correctly the first time. You go in here, and as you can see, they're all pulling evenly. Perfect. And you'll go down this way, and in there. Then the other one can jump over here to the other one we want to make. So uh, now we have things flowing into our little setup. Um, this should make more than what this can handle, meaning we'll probably have to upgrade it, but that should start getting the first green circuits into our train grid. So let's try and hook it up. There, 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 and there. And let's see if it actually works as intended. There goes the green circuits. This is going to consume quite a bit of resources uh, in our base. We'll see if we have to upgrade this to keep it up and how much it actually fills a yellow belt. As you can see, it's only going about halfway down over here at the moment. Again, because of the throughput issues. So, should we upgrade you to a red belt? Because as you can see, input wise, it's a one to one on iron, but on copper, it's one and a half in. So, we need more copper in than iron in. But do we get a somewhat good amount of uh, green circuits out? If you look in a production tab, we're now making about 1.4, 1.5k, slowly going up to what we can support. And a good way to figure it out is, is since we have two lines going in, each line is 15, that's 900 per minute, that's 1800. So this should max out at 1800. So, uh, 
Of course, if all of it is being consumed. A bit lower than 1800, about 50%. And uh, that is because of the copper. So if we are about 1500 now, that means we should have maxed out on this. As you see, about 1500. Going a bit up and down. So um, let's upgrade these two red belts. Just so you can see the difference it's going to make. Luckily, everything is pulling evenly from up here. And the easiest way to upgrade them to red belts is to do a little blueprint, a little upgrade here. Oh, it's red belt even. So let's get you to red belt instead. This is still just to save a bit on iron until we really need it. So we can actually do... This won't work, but we can do that. There. These upgrades, these as well. Getting twice the throughput. There we are. Thank you, robots. Let's upgrade just the outside. I'll, I'll try and see if the inside can support it, but it probably can't. There we are. And take you over here. So do very much enjoy um, this upgrade system. And let's get all of it to... Yeah, let's get this in here as well to red belts. There we are. Hopefully everything can get blown in if we have enough. So we actually have green circuits flowing. You can see robots are coming to pick it up now and we might miss a few things. But uh, I'll go get those in between episodes if we don't have any. So now, a good, good amount of uh, green circuits being uh, inputted. They're all being picked up by our inserters, which uh, at the moment can't keep up. As we talked about before, 13.85 is about the max with the full upgrade uh, stack inserters. So, so let's upgrade that. Let's get all of these done. They will slowly research in the old base until we hit 12 items per pickup. And then four of these can pick up a bit more than, uh, than what this can input. And that is exactly what I wanted to do. So that is screen circuits on our main bus and look how beautiful it looks. Let's get on a train grid. I don't know why I keep calling it a main bus because it's not. Let's upgrade you as well to right there and watch the items flow. God, look how beautiful it looks. So now slowly this is filling up. It's not activated yet, yet because we need 32k before it opens up and uh, that's about two trains worth and that is uh, what we wanted to always have in storage. Pretty much two trains worth is, 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 the, is a good amount because that's how many we can have uh, going here at the same time. So um, we'll just leave this now to do its thing and then we'll set up, we could set up a, what's it called um, a green circle train, but since we don't have any place that needs it yet, I'll wait a second. But look at this. Half a blue belt. A bit more than half a blue belt. Going in. And luckily they're just fast enough to keep it up. And look at this, it's all evenly filling. All the way around. Very, very perfect. So this is our green circuit build as it stands right now. All of them are still moving. Seems like uh, we can just keep up with this as it is making almost, or making 2.7k green circuits per minute. We'll double this over here, get a second train that can pick them up. Just because I want to have double loading of green circuits as we probably will need a lot of them. So let's hook this up. Just over here. Don't know if it's possible to flip. Probably not. But uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, I did say I was going to flip it. Let's wait because uh, we don't really have the items for it. And look, we need to get our trains running again. Because I just want to empty this out. And get it completely back to zero. Before, um, 
we start to request in more trains. Otherwise, we will get into a bit of an issue. Let's get this going. This is almost emptied out. Same over here. I'll just take you and add you into the places that need them. So this doesn't really matter that we do this because we just want them out of our inventory. Hopefully we have enough space for all of it. That seems good. And then we'll empty out that part. And everything until the balancer kind of have to be emptied out as well. We don't start off on the wrong foot. There we are. That should make sure things uh, balance out nicely and nothing gets uh, left behind. Same over here. Luckily this will uh, fix itself in the future. There we are. These all have some in them so that's fine. And let's empty out this as well. So uh, now we can activate our trains, getting uh, iron and uh, copper delivered, and hopefully, hopefully everything will work, and we can see trains running for the first time, making green circuits for our storage chests, that I'll just uh, let run until they're completely full, unless we limit it, limit the inputs. But um, since it's mega base size, I don't really want to limit the inputs. At least not too much. So let's activate our trains. We have this one. You can activate. You can just go and drop off. And iron one can activate as well. Go and drop off. So let's just watch it in action. And uh, that will be a good place to end the episode. Having our green circuits hooked up. Look at that. Here goes the items. Evenly pulling from all of them, making sure that we don't take more from any. Should line up pretty nicely for it uh, with a perfect unloading. Of course, with a bit more on the belts on some of these, but that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. There we are. Let's ride on our uh, iron train just to see it in action, because this is the cool part and I want to show it here in the beginning, how things work. I see you going back to the depot now first, again to make sure we don't uh, block anything. You can see both the iron plate and the copper plate is, is open for business. They go filling with ore so they don't run out, that means this will leave, then this will leave afterwards. Going to their respect. Look, this is why we did the, the, the change. Oh, it's such a perfect way to show it. You can jump back and see it. Because now we can go north and we can go south. In the same one. And this is much better in terms of throughput on the trains. So cover being loaded. Loaded. I am going around this way. Being loaded as well. And then they'll start to fill this again. All of it being evenly balanced. And filled up. Look at that. Very, very nice. Activating all of our miners again. Oh, smelters. Filling you up and sending you back. There goes the cover. And then sending you back to our system. So this is pretty much the way it's going to work. Then in the future, if you want to make another one, we pretty much just copy paste it down. Then all the trains will start to leave as, uh, as needed. Just having everything move around in a nice orderly fashion. This one says, oh, copper is open. Let's send the train. This one will do the same. Oh, iron is open. Let's send the train. Going around looping to go into the correct place. And here goes the iron. Doing the same thing. Never interfering with each other. Always being a nice throughput. So um, what I actually want to do now before we end is actually just add... One more train to the system. As you can see, the throughput on the copper line is not good enough for one train. So do we bring any wagons here? Uh, no. Did I leave them over here then? Let's see, you should have some. 
here. Uh, we probably have a few. So I'll be back in just a second after I picked up a few tra a few uh, wagons. And we're back. I actually didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I just had enough to craft them in the inventory. So now that we have this, we are able to... Let's not get up, run over by a train. That'll be silly. Just go over here. Just take two spots. We'll take that one and we'll take that one. We'll add these to the end. We will copy the blueprints. If I can get the train. That was our um, iron drop off. That will go to iron pickup first. So you can go. And then the second one, being the copper one, will just steal for you right here. So we actually have two trains running uh, with these setups. Because this is where the power goes in and how it works. Should have more than enough fuel to make the round trip. As you see now, now we have double trains running for each station. That means one can stay over here loading, one can go to the depot. We can have two stacked up because we do open for two trains at a time. And now we finally get to the point where this shows its worth and how the planning in the last uh, five or so episodes has or six maybe is starting to get us to what we want to do so trains going one is going here a few is going to the depots as well and the uh, trains are just running let's see if we can get to a point where we have two going in at the same time probably won't because cover plate is going back to the depot and uh, yeah it is running exactly like I want it now. It is so, so good to see. And they'll just wait until the, there's room. I see here, this one should get sent over here right away. As soon as it gets the fuel, that is. Even though we have one, we can always have a second one backed in behind it. There goes the copper. And here goes the iron. So, um... I think that's uh, enough of me watching this. Of course, you can uh, make your own with the blueprints we have provided. And uh, then you're able to set this up as well. Watching trains just swish around the base. And uh, build everything we need. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, you are enjoying our current setup. With the uh, trains just running, supplying what we need turning on and off, depending on uh, how much we have in throughput. How much we have in storage, I should probably say. So, um, yeah, I think I'll end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Do remember to leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, always remember to subscribe as well. And with that, I've been Degray, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.